Hey, what's going on, guys? Ravi here from Ira FX along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So, in this video, we'll be learning to make this teleport effect in a very easy way. So, without any delay, let's get started. All right, so let us first divide this tutorial into three steps. Step one, shooting the scene. Step two, splitting the shots. And step three, adding effects elements. So in the first step, all you have to do is shoot a video something like this. You know, place your camera on a tripod and act as if you are entering into some portal just like this, okay? And then move a couple of steps forward and act as if you're jumping out of the portal like this. Let me repeat this. You simply have to make sure that you're jumping into a portal. Walk a couple of steps forward and then act as if you're jumping out. Make sure that you know you place this video. I mean you place your camera on the tripod. Also make sure you have a clean plate of the background that we'll be using for our effect. So we are done with step number one. So in step number two, all you have to do is simply drag this video on the right side panel here so that a sequence is created. So now we have a video here. So um, all you have to do is as soon as you jump into the air, you'll have to cut your video here. So I'll click on this razor tool here and cut this video at this point. And I'll then move a couple of frames forward, I mean a couple of seconds forward until your character jumps like this and cut the video at the point where your character is landing and delete the footage that is in between. Alright, so the next thing that you'll have to do is select both your videos and move them to the top just so that we have a layer beneath this and simply drag the clean plate of the background just under your video like this now what you have to do is simply move the you know the second video closer to the first video in such a way that there's a one second gap between so if we start playing the video this is how it's gonna look like the character jumps like this and then lands at this point just like this perfect so we're done with step number two so in the third step you'll have to add some effects elements as soon as you you know jump at this point we'll have to create some portal kind of effect so in order to do that i have a video in my project let me show this to you so this is a shockwave element and if i start playing this this is how it's gonna look like so there's this shockwave element that I downloaded from the web. You can use any shockwave element. I'll add this project file just so that you can download it if you don't have any shockwave stock footage. So uh, simply drag this shockwave effect onto our video on the top of our all videos just like this. Okay, you can see that the shockwave is a bit slow. So I'll right click on this video Oh, let me just turn this you know turn the blending mode of this video to screen since we have a black background I'll right click on this video and go to speed and duration and change the speed to around 250 okay so uh, this is how it's gonna look like after speeding up so uh, let me just adjust this position in such a way that you know it it looks quite natural so i'll move the position of the shockwave footage like this and scale this up a bit and uh, you can also go to the fx panel and simply type in basic 3d to give a perspective to it so that it rotates in in a direction in the 3d space so i'll change the swivel value to um, 35 just so that it has some angle similar to the the way the character is so um, 
So the next thing that we'll have to do is adjust the position of the shock wave in such a way that it appears as soon as the you know character is jumping. Let me change the position just like this. So if I start playing the video, no, this is not right. So uh, this has to start at this point. So perfect. So this is how the character is disappearing and the shockwave appears. So in order to have a cool looking sci-fi kind of effect, it all depends on your choice. So in order to have a good, you know, um, a good color to our shockwave, simply go to the effects panel and type in tint and drag this tint effect onto our video just like this and you can change the value of um, the color to some purple colors just so that it will get some sci-fi look you can also add an effect called color balance so i'll drag this color balance in the color correction folder and also tweak the highlight red and green values in such a way that you know it, it all depends on you know how you tweak the values here depending on your shot so um so uh, you can tweak these values just so that it it will have some glow to it so i want the same thing to happen as soon as my character lands at this point so in order to do that i'll click on this video here and hold alt on my keyboard and drag this to the top just so that it gets duplicated i'll select this duplicated video and move it to the position where the character is landing so i'll move the position value to the left and also adjust the position properly so uh, and I'll move it to right as soon as the character lands at this point and I'll also ensure that the scaling is proper so I'll increase the scaling value just like this so now if I start playing the video this is how it's gonna look like perfect so this is how you make a portal effect or a teleport effect in a very easy way using Adobe Premiere Pro I hope you like this video and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on instagram at vfx guy ravi mr zebo would you like to add something subscribe for more tutorials all right so see you guys next time with another tutorial